Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see representation of an arbitrary sequence x of n. Okay. So the representation of any arbitrary sequence x of n can be achieved through the utilization of delayed and weighted impulse sequence del of n. Fine. So this means that a discrete time signal can be represented as a sum of impulses. allowing us to compute the response of an lti system using discrete convolution okay so let x of n is what basically a discrete time signal fine and del of n is what del of n is unit impulse signal right del of n is unit impulse signal and what is del of n minus m what is this del of n minus m it is delayed impulse signal right delayed impulse signal now before going further you should know about the behavior of del of n and del of n minus m so let's see the behavior of del of n so del of n will be basically equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 and when n is not equal to 0 the value for del of n is what 0 clear similarly del of n minus m is equal to 1 when n is equal to m and when n is not equal to m it will give you what 0 as a output so these two things you should remember then only you will understand the next things easily clear fine now let's understand this expression so what i'm doing i'm trying to multiply this x of n with del of n minus m you already know the behavior of del of n minus m it will give 1 only when n is equal to m and 0 for all other n okay so we should only talk about n is equal to m instance here n is equal to m instance because at this point only you will get some value because del of n minus m is 1 at this point and for all other n it will be 0 so 0 multiplied by anything is what 0 only right so we are at n is equal to m instance remember this so when the signal x of n is multiplied by the delayed impulse del of n minus m the resulting product is only the resulting product is only non zero when n is equal to m right and zero for all other n hope it is clear to you so we'll get an output at the instance n is equal to m so we are talking about n is equal to m so so this will become what x of m and this will become what 1 so x of m into 1 is what x of m right but theoretically so furthermore at n is equal to m at n is equal to m the value of the product of a signal corresponds to what the mth sample which sample mth sample okay x of m of the signal of the signal x of n right of the signal x of n so this is the mth sample of the signal x of n right because we are standing at n is equal to m position so hope it is clear to you now let's understand some more things so it will be easy for you to understand okay for the so example suppose i have del of n so we have to compare with this expression right it will give you what x of n so i have del of n uh, sorry x of n into del of n minus of minus 2 so this position is what m right so what will be the output x of m right result so x of what is m here minus 2 so you will get minus 2 clear now let's go further so here if you see del of n minus of minus 
1 so here this is m so you will get x of minus 1 here you will get x of what 0 clear here it is what m is equal to 1 so you will get x of 1 here x of 2 hope this concept is clear to you from here to here that's why i said you should understand this first and then you will understand this easily clear now we did for few instances right so repeating this multiplication for all possible delays in the range m greater than minus infinity to m smaller than plus infinity and adding at last when you add all the product sequences this will result in a sequence equal to what x of n when you add all of this this will be equal to what x of n we'll see this don't worry fine so the product of a signal x of n and a delayed impulse del of n minus m allows for the expression of each sample of x of n as a product of sample and delay impulse right we can write it as a product of sample and delay impulse that is what we are doing here see here if you want to write x of minus 2 you can write like this if it is x of minus 1 you can write like this okay so this enabling the presentation the representation of any arbitrary sequence x of n in terms of what delayed and weighted impulse sequence del of n clear so here you are representing in the form of what in the form of impulses right delayed impulses awaited impulse sequences or you can say it like here we are going to represent a discrete time signal as a sum of impulses so hope it is clear to you fine let's move next and see some more things so whatever we covered we are going to see the same thing and we are going to evaluate the formula okay so basically as i told you x of minus 3 if i am going to calculate x of minus 3 it means what m is equal to minus 3 right it will give me uh, you can write this as this right so remember x of m you got when when you are multiplying x of n okay into del of n minus m at what instant at n is equal to m so following this you can say like x of minus 2 can be represented as x of minus 2 into del of n minus of minus 2 now x of minus 1 can be represented as x of minus 1 into del of n minus of minus 1 right x of 0 can be represented as x of 0 into del of n similarly x of 1 can be represented as x of 1 into del of n minus m right so m is what 1 here so 1 here 2 here 3 so hope it is clear to you now when you are going to evaluate what x of n finally so x of n can be re written as what keep on coming okay x of minus 3 plus x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 plus x of 0 plus x of 1 plus x of 2 and keep on going right the summation of all this is what basically x of n and we already know what is this what is this in the form of impulse responses right or delayed impulse responses so you can write this is equal to what this becomes what i'm taking from this instance so this we can write it as plus x of minus 2 into del of n minus of minus 2 right plus for this it will be what x of minus 1 into del of n minus of minus 1 plus you can write this as x of 0 into del of n right because m is 0 here plus for this you can write x of 1 into del of 
n minus 1 plus for this you can write x of 2 into del of n minus 2. So hope this much is clear to you and keep on going. Right, so this will be equal to what x of n. Now if you see this, so we can write it as this same thing as summation of, you are doing a summation, right? Over a limit, what? m is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. You remember the range we were talking about minus infinity to plus infinity. So, and this is what basically x of m and the second term is what basically del of del of n minus m. This will give you what? x of n. Right? So, hope this is clear to you. So, for this only we were doing this many things just to prove that it will be equal to this. So, from here what is this? So, each product from here you can say like each product each product what? x of m into del of n minus m is what is an impulse is an impulse right and the summation of the impulses and the summation of the impulses of the impulses gives the sequence x of n gives the sequence x of n so okay that is all about the representation of an arbitrary sequence so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching